Hello, my name is Rinalini and I'm a specialist physiotherapist at Excel Health. Low back pain can be experienced by all adults ranging from 20 years old till 80 years old. However, the reasons can be different. On examination, over 90% of these cases are determined to be not serious. But how would a clinician know if you are one of the 90%? And the answer is through their clinical assessment. Two things that they do is one, your physical examination. And second, the symptoms are triaged from or excluded from two categories. One, nerve involving pathologies. And second, specific spinal pathologies. So your tumors, malignancies, infections, fractures, etc. Although this can be a complex process, the combination of these two, so your assessment or physical assessment and the triaging, can help the clinician to be directed towards the right diagnosis or towards finding the cause for your symptoms. Now, is a scan always needed? Not really. What we need to remember is that pain does not always mean damage and scans do not always give the right answers. When you're an adult, you develop into having gray hair and wrinkles and many other things. Just like that, your spine goes through changes as well. And when you get a scan done, they often appear on your scan results. Now, with physiotherapy, your progress can be long, short, or with plenty ups and downs. Though this is the case and the duration can be different for every person to show recovery, the main thing is that if your treatment is tailored specifically to you, depending on your needs and your goals, it can definitely show benefits and help you in your progress. But saying that, a clinician still might prefer you for a scan, but depending on other factors like not enough progress in specific timeline or having quite a few cluster of symptoms that you're presenting. In these cases, a scan can help the clinician understand quite a few things that are happening and help them to triage your symptoms and guide towards the diagnosis. If you have any concerns, any queries or any doubts regarding any of your process, your sessions, your physiotherapy goals, needs, or any such thing, it would be a good idea for you to have a healthy discussion with your clinician. I hope this video helped you to understand what goes on and please subscribe for more.